Alright everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Division. And today, we are going to be discussing the points that they went over for State of the Game, and that's why I entitled this Lazarus, Rise and Walk. <sighs> I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! Wait, why don't you join? No. No, I'm back. I'm getting back. No, no. No. Oh. Anyways, yes, the vision seems to be have brought back to life, just like Lazarus was, raised from near death, or in this case, the dead. But uh, we got some exciting news for all of those that love the division. I, for one, am thankful for this news when... Uh, I first heard it, I was overwhelmed with joy because I didn't get back to splattering people in the DZ like always with the Splatter Squad. Um, I, as you can see, uh, my latest four uploads, I've been grinding hard on Destiny 2. I'm enjoying the break from Division, but also glad it's going to be fixed. Uh, as we all know, weekly maintenance just has occurred. And it says, Resistance is a new wave-based horde pve mode coming to update 1.8 resistance will surely put even the most skilled teams to the test as enemies will become stronger and increasingly more dangerous for every stage that is successfully cleared check out the vod of today's stream for a detailed interview with terry and keith as they get into the gritty details of the game mode but yeah anyways and then also the drogue 2.0 uh all this is in 1.8 which will land on October the 3rd. The PTS for uh, 1.8 will start uh, September the 26th. Also, the major news besides 1.8 is the fix of the RPM glitch. So on Ubisoft's website web, uh, page, they posted on Tuesday the 19th of September, we will be deploying update 1.7.1 on all platforms. This update will include fixes, for the so-called RPM glitch. The sniper jamming bug as well as a number of fixes aimed at reducing desync and improving the overall quality of play. This is a part of the ongoing effort to minimize latency and desync problems experienced by our players. We are aiming to start the 1.8 PTS on September the 26th on all platforms. The exact criteria and invite process for the consoles is still not set in stone, but if you had access to the 1.7 PTS, you will automatically have access to the 1.8 PTS. We will also be sending out additional invitations via email, and to be able to receive these, you will need to be opted in to receive communication from Ubisoft. Remember to tick that box if you are interested in participating. Why did they put tick that box? Maybe they meant click the box? Anyways, the next global event assault will start on October the 3rd. The theme for uh, the theme of this event will pro be proximity to enemies. Enemies will do less damage the closer you are to them, and they will do additional damage the further away you are. So make sure to get up close and personal. Assault will introduce the classified versions of the Strikers Battle Gear, Sentry's Call, and Reclaimer Gear sets. And following the conclusion of this event, these classified sets will become available in the general loot pool of the game. So, exciting news. I'm, it's, I'm just ecstatic. I mean, uh, I'm getting tongue-tied over words that finally that the RPM glitch will come to an end along with the sniper bug. And as I say, an ongoing work progress on trying to maximize players' Uh, hopes for the game and also in fixing you know these uh, bugs that do occur randomly and on occasion with each update so there's probably going to be other bugs I mean rest assured that um, but luckily Destiny 2 did drop so I get a break and don't have to worry didn't have to worry about the RPM glitch or nothing like that so but I'll be looking forward into hopping back on the division come Tuesday, September the 19th, when 1.7.1 drops, that will fix all the RPM glitching and all that nonsense that those cheaters out there just love to exploit. 
But anyways, we're not going to harp on that. Uh, they did issue thousands of bands for that, whether they be the 14-day variety. Um, I'm pretty sure probably some didn't really care and probably had multiple counts anyway, so they probably you know went ahead and proceeded to do that there after their 14-day ban and possibly got permanently banned. But, you know, all that aside, uh, I'm really glad that um, there's going to be a little bit more life uh, back in the division. Uh, you know, we've seen players drop off due to other games coming out, which is is expected and normal to a certain extent. But what made it more drastic is this, you know, um, I should say heinous RPM glitch. Um, yes, I just watched Bill and Ted's Bogus Adventure. So, yeah, heinous, man, completely heinous. Um, but, yeah, so glad that it's going to be fixed and done with. I uh, hope, you know, that we don't see something like this in the future, um, but we can always just only hope. But it is, uh, hopefully they get around to fixing it before two hand. But don't forget to check out the links in the description below for that awesome giveaway. Just click on the Gleam link and check out Revolution Gaming's Facebook community on all things division and all things gaming. But thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys. Talk to you later.